In the landscape of figure That's photography, not. one group strived for tangible and dynamic displays. Ready? Yeah, let's oh, go. We are live, bug. Oh, we are live. Yes, sir. <laughs> We're officially back, back at, at it. it. It's a rare condition this day and age to read any good news on the newspaper page. And love and tradition of the grand design, some people say, is even harder to find. Inside these gentle walls Cause all I see is a tower of dreams Real love bursting out of every scene The Articulated Comic Book Art Podcast is filmed in front of a live virtual audience and is funded in part by viewers just like you. Thank you. Where? Yeah, I had that off. Hello. Hello. We're live, baby. All right. <laughs> yes, sir. We're officially back at it. Book Nights coming at you with the Articulated Comic Book Art Podcast, episode 307, right? Go. Wow, there you go. <laughs> Your host, Book Nice. Got my boys with me, Pan Cheesy, Rick Dom. I suppose Fabio will be joining us shortly, maybe. He is kind of indisposed, but kind of on the go, and I don't know. We'll see. Hopefully, we'll see him. Haven't seen him in a couple weeks. Parts but uh, that. birthday weekend, birthday yeah, weekend. It's, it's, a, it's a big birthday weekend for uh, for the ACBA podcast. Fabio's birthday is tomorrow, March 16th. He will be 54 years old. <laughs> and, uh, my birthday is Monday, March the 18th, and I will be 64 years old. Oh, wonderful! Excellent. <laughs> you know well, what that uh, means. Yeah. This is Fabio's last year to play a high schooler on television. <laughs> Basically, <laughs> and he's about to get AARP, all of that good shit. Whoa! <laughs> Amazing. Um, but yeah, how was you guys' this past two weeks? Because we took a week off last week as things were really heating up here in New York City. Wow! Oh Good man! Times. Yeah. Now, what about you, Bug? What, what What have you been up to? Things were heating hey, up. Man. Tell us more about that. Listen, let me tell you something. Somebody had the nerve to put a comment on not obviously we weren't here last week but the week before saying that Boog is lazy Oh, I am <laughs> Why? I ever worked in my entire life right now like literally consecutively working harder than I've ever worked in my entire life right now so the nerve of you cocksucker oh my god well Boog I mean yeah. what? think of him if so, you're on the podcast uh, yeah, he, then <laughs> what, what, what can he think <laughs> I've been I've been busy. I've been busy working a whole lot and uh also still getting up every day and working out and exercising very hard to keep my mental health together and uh feeling pretty good considering all of the obstacles and all of the hurdles I have jumped over in the past three to four months. I'm feeling okay. So thank you. Thank you for that. Um yeah. That's it. That's pretty much it. I've been very busy and still keeping up with the Joneses and keeping up with collecting and doing a lot of stuff behind the scenes and making some moves. And yeah, I'm feeling pretty good about where the collection is right now and what I'm about to uh, to do. But that's it. I'm going to continue to be uh, a little um, guarded. All right. So that's that. How about you, D? How's uh, the baby mama and baby? Fantastic. We got our first piece of baby furniture. Wow. Um, Well, I guess technically we got like uh, we got like a like a rocking chair 
uh, a couple of a couple of months ago. But Hold like, on, I, the I just, here for you <laughs> for like just cr- like rocking the baby, I guess. I don't know. All right, all right. <laughs> but like, uh, you know, I've, been, I've just been using that as a regular chair, so it doesn't really <laughs> it doesn't really feel real. But we got a bat. Uh, Rebecca's parents were lucky, were generous enough to send us a bassinet and mm. a stroller and car seat system or whatever. So nice, set, nice. Set that up. I enjoyed the hardships of fatherhood in terms of setting up shit for your kids that just is frustrating and terrible. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so I experienced that first. You're going to learn that a lot of shit you set up will not even get no. used. It'll just sit in there. No, absolutely. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I, I'm fully prepared for that, but it's cool, man. It's cool. It feels uh, more real than ever. So I'm very excited. <laughs> very good. Very good. Rick, how about you? Hey, what's up? I'm not bringing any life into the world, Um, (laughs) but uh, it's been all right. It's been all right. Uh, uh, My lady moved in with me, so I've been like reorganizing everything and like. That's right. You did mention that. What goes and what stays. Uh Uh, But it's been good. It's been good. You know, you know, usually uh, usually like the first week or so that you live with someone, you're like. This isn't what I thought it would be like, but uh, it's not. It's we've never hit that point, so it's been good. Or maybe she has, but she's lying to me. Could All be. Right. But uh, <laughs> but uh, for me, it's been quite good. a bit of a honeymoon stage to to go through there. So uh, in terms of living together, I mean, I know y'all been together for quite a while, but but yeah, oh, don't scare me like that. Don't scare me like that. <laughs> um, but besides that, um, yeah, nothing, nothing, nothing crazy. It's been a it's just been mostly that, you know, the dog, chilling with the dog, taking the dog with me everywhere. Hmm. Um, Wait, what kind of dog you got? Half poodle, half Shih Tzu. We call it a shit poo. Oh, um, right. It's very been, uh, uh, Shardimus Prime of you. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> Dude, he'd be frothing at the mouth for this dog if he knew. You know how many toes? You know how many toes this dog has? No, oh my god. Um. <laughs> <laughs> um uh yeah, it's 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 been good though. Um it's it's been it's gone a lot easier than I thought. I kid you not, the first two days that this happened, I was like, this isn't gonna work, man. Like in my mind, I'm like, all oh, her shit, and then all my shit. And then uh you get through the first like 24 hours and you're like, ah, oh, this is fine. This ended up not being what I built it up to be in my mind as like a struggle or like it was gonna be tough or anything like that. It ended up working out really great. It's been fantastic. Excellent. Um, yeah, it's been it's been really good. I've I've been liking it a lot. It's been great. All right, I um, love to hear. It. Yeah, that's it. That's it. Nothing else. Nothing else uh, crazy. Other than you know, we weren't here for it because we were in mourning. But losing a Kira Toriyama was uh, uh, yes. insane, and it right. was in and it was crazy when it happened because when it happened, I'd learned about it literally the moment that it was put on Twitter, and I was mm. like, "Nice try, disgusting film." I thought yeah, this is dis busting film. I thought this isn't real. Like this is some sort of like dis-busing fucking busting film. Yeah, I thought was, I thought it was some because I swear to I'm sure Poncho knows they've said that he's died hella times. Yeah, I mean, like, I, like all the time, every year. Dude, they really? say he dies all the time, and then people will hit me like, "Dude, I heard the guy that created Dragon Ball Z died," and I go, "No, if he did, everyone in the fucking world would know. Mexico would be a river. Yeah, like yeah, it'd in be shambles. tears." Yeah, shambles. being shambles, which they were. <laughs> yes. And uh so when it when we found out that it really did happen and we saw fucking Toei put something out and fucking you know all the all the publishing places, I was like, well, okay, this is fucking real. Yeah, when Toei do put we, it out. Uh, that was crazy. Do we know what the cause of death was? Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's a subdermal hematoma, right? Is that am, am I saying yeah. that right? Yeah, uh, subdermal hematoma. He had a he had a brain tumor sure. as blood clot. Yeah, as early he had a brain tumor as early as last year, and he had surgery on it as well, and it just didn't. Mm. It just uh, it may have been too late. It's it's really crazy because like, um, he won a lifetime achievement award, literally, like it was announced like uh, a couple of days ago for mm. the Dragon Ball anime, um, and there's like a little interview with him, but the interview was taken like uh like weeks ago maybe i could be wrong but it was it was in the past and like uh it's really bittersweet because like in in that interview he mentions like uh i'll try and be around as long as i can but it might be difficult because of my health and my lifestyle when i was younger so like mm. so like he knew which was like 
awful. <laughs> it yeah. was terrible. It's tough. Wow. Okay. I didn't I didn't know any of that. I just figured they were keeping it close to the, the vest or whatever whatever yeah. happened to him. But he's he you know, he's a very private person. Um and I'm I'm like honestly surprised that we know so much about what happened. But um you know I'm sure Rick was the same way, but like, it's odd mourning over somebody that you've never met, but like, yep. you know, he's so influential to everything, uh, not only to, you know, people who like Dragon Ball, but like shaping the modern, like, out the modern, like, outcome of like media from like cartoons, anime, video games, yep. everything like his, his DNA is in like practically everything if it wasn't directly influenced by him then it's people admiring his work and being influenced by that so it's it's like yeah. insane um, no doubt definitely a, a giant in the game and every facet of uh pop culture man for sure yeah it's pretty crazy and this the silver lining for all of this um is that there's been such like an outpour of like support and love for not only Dragon Ball and like Dr. Slump, but like his like his lesser known works and stuff. Like I spent the entire weekend and like just on Twitter, just constantly just looking up stuff and reading stuff because I, I follow like a lot of Dragon Ball Twitter users and like manga Twitter users and stuff. So that mm -hmm. was my entire feed. Um, but it was it was so cool seeing like the entire community like um just share stuff that they've kept close to the vest. I don't know what it is specifically about like drag the Dragon Ball community, but like if you have like a rare piece of like lost media or whatever, um, people just like hang on to it. But like over the weekend, so much new stuff has come out, like rare interviews with him. Like before, it's crazy because if you look at all the like main media outlets who report on his passing, they use the same like three or four pictures because for the longest time, you know, he really didn't have a lot of like public publicized photos, but like people over the weekend were sharing scans from like their old magazines where they have like mm. full spreads of him and like his workshop. People were like remastering like old VHS rips of like a studio tour of his and like the eighties and stuff and sharing like interviews and the amount of like a curatoriama media that has been like searchable and findable has gone from like maybe 1% and it's just like skyrocketed to where like there's like almost too, almost too much out there. So mm -hmm. like um if you've ever uh been interested in like his life and his work and stuff, now's a great time to dive in cuz there's so much information out there. Um the craziest thing is like Dragon Ball famously, this is like the last thing I'll say cuz I could talk about this forever. But like Dragon Ball famously, the audio for Dragon Ball, the best version of it is like lost forever it's lost media because it was only broadcasted live on like fuji sure. tv or whatever like back when it first aired and then like as as it aired they just like tossed the reels but there are like so many people like on twitter and like uh and youtube and stuff that are like digging out of their own like personal archives of stuff that they've recorded on tv from like the 80s and 90s and they're uploading mm -hmm. it for the first time so like the other weekend you're you're hearing stuff in like the crispest, cleanest audio that you've ever heard. It's it's like crazy. So interesting. Again, the the silver lining about this terrible news is uh, just how much the community has like come together and uh, you know celebrated his life and honored his works and stuff. So yeah, e even even like community adjacent people and people yeah. that you wouldn't even expect to like report on this or know anything about him or you know you know we've seen that pop up and we've seen some very funny and heartfelt moments at the same time too. But yeah, yeah, like, like the fact that it wasn't a joke, that it wasn't some internet meme that the Mexican cartel <laughs> literally did call a ceasefire <laughs> is insane. Everybody's like, ah, oh, what a funny joke. Like Mexicans love fucking dragon ball. Like they're going to, mm -hmm. they're going to do that. And then it ended up being totally real. That's crazy. <laughs> it's hilarious. That's crazy. Yeah, man. Rest in peace to the legend, man. Rest in peace to the legend. Um, so yeah, we got a bit of quite a bit of news, I guess, to uh to touch on. Uh yeah, for where do you sure. guys want to start? Uh you, you tell me. You tell me. Where do you guys want to start? I'll screen share. Um 
I don't know, whatever you guys prefer. You want to do a Bandai or get Jawsome, you know, whatever you want. You know? let's, let's do Bandai first. Should we go to Instamashi? Okay. Uh, yeah. yeah. Okay, hold on. Uh, I'm I'm going to pull that up and I'll be I'll start streaming real quick. Um, you mean screen sharing? Screen sharing, yeah, 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 yeah. Streaming as we speak on the yard. We sure are. All right, hold on. Let Thank me. you to our wonderful sponsors over at StreamYard. <laughs> I like that. Huh? It's our wonderful great. sponsor at Big Bad Toy Store. That's true. At Big Big Bad Toys Toy Store, BigBad.com. <laughs> there you go. Big That's how it says it, right? Bad. Yes. Big Bad Job. Yeah. All right, sick. Yeah. All right, Rickolas. What are we? Uh, we're, uh, we're, we're a few weeks back, right? Yeah, a We don't bit. have to go that far, right? Fabio's not handling the reins this time. <laughs> we can. Uh, where should we start? Uh, you tell me, Rick. Um, fuck it. Let's start at uh. Let's start at the body coons, I guess. I don't. I don't know. Right here. Uh, yeah. Fuck it. There you go. Look at that. They're coming in. New body coons. Mm, uh, really? Bo- is this body chan? Yep. Yeah. This body chan, like a schoolgirl. Body chan. Brand new. Look at that. She's styling. She's profiling. Call her Ric Flair. There she is. Hey, you know what? I uh, inquired about that custom um, Penny Parker that was uh, making around mm. some. Oh, yeah, the kit. Oh, yeah. I didn't realize that it was. Uh, I don't know what I was thinking, why I didn't realize that. But, yeah, it's it's the unpainted version is the only thing that's um, available for pre-order right now okay. through March. But, yeah, this re- reminded me of it. That's what, that's what I mentioned. Yeah, yeah. But, yeah, yeah uh, these, these body coons are cool. Um, obviously, the people benefiting from the mo- from this of the most are people in the art community. Uh, mm-hmm. <laughs> but you know, still cool, still cool. It's been yeah, quite a while cool. since they released one of those, huh? Yeah, they they for a while they've had like the base body, and then they've done like different like versions of it, like that come with different accessories and stuff. And Sport the, version, yeah. Like a... They really hmm. need to get their money out of that mold. Uh, so. <laughs> Even this is the exact same thing. It just comes with a uh, hair and like yeah, school, school girl yeah. accessories. <laughs> mm-hmm. um, but yeah, that's pretty cool. Uh, the next uh, big piece of news is this trunks, obviously. Mm-hmm. Didn't you guys predict this some time ago? I'm sure we did. Yeah, as soon as they oh, showed yeah. off Goku, we were like, "Oh yeah, trunks is coming for sure." And then they showed mm-hmm. the, then they showed it off. Like they showed it off at some event, and then when we were at STCC. Uh, 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 Trunks and Pan were there with GT Goku. Right, 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 right. Yeah, but this looks the gangalang. There it is, baby. This looks good, yeah, this dude. Looks good. Yeah, it looks good. I'm into it, Rick. Uh, what do you think of this? Uh, the jacket. What's going on with the jacket? Dude, what thoughts? Uh, you know, you know what? <laughs> um, I I talk a lot to on on the Toy Migos VC. You know, shout out to the Toy Migos. Mm-hmm. Um, and I've been talking to Chamba, and he doesn't stop selling me on uh, you know, that anime Mashley that there's SHF for. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He said that like that his jacket coat is really different from what SHF has done before, and that it's like really nice and and like pliable, and it does it's not like stiff and fucking doesn't feel like a rice cracker. Mm-hmm. Um, and he can't stop singing its praises. And um, I'm sure that this is going to be that material because a lot of the things that they do now is that material, like when it involves jackets and shit. Yeah. Um, like obviously, like the like the the Demon Slayer stuff, you could just tell from the product from like the from like the pre-production pictures that they're they're all in that material too. Mm-hmm. So I'm I would assume to, that this would be too. I'm trying to figure out is it just soft and pliable enough where you could just like move it and kind of like I don't know use his arm to keep it into place, or is it some type of hinge system there down at the bottom? There's a I hinge. Wish sure. I knew, Brad. If you're in the comments, I know you have a million of those fucking Mashley figures. So if you're there, Brad, don't. Don't not say anything, man. Come yeah, on, man. I, don't, I don't hate the the two parts, and if you can kind of like swivel or hinge that lower part of the coat, I'm I'm, yeah. I'm down with that. As long as it's not that hard ass plastic that they have used in the past. True, 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 true. Yeah, this looks great. And then uh, continuing their longstanding tradition of including other parts, this one just comes with Goku's tail. Uh, <laughs> it just kind of seems and like it was just peppered on there. <laughs> this actually just got added to my uh, pile of loop the other day. 
And I think a lot of people, I think a lot of people are assuming that Pan is going to come with Goku's Super Saiyan head. Yeah. Mm. That's just the general consensus. If it doesn't, then they'll just re-release a whole new figure that's Super Saiyan Goku. But both are super likely. Yes, both are super likely. Very (laughs) Bandai-like things to do. Both of those things. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> They're both very likely. Yeah. Oh, I could see her coming with like an exclusive Super Saiyan faceplate, uh, Ooh, and maybe that'd be cool, that'd be cool. or an exclusive Super Saiyan like hair sculpt, and then they'll announce the Goku figure, the Super Saiyan Goku figure at the same time, or or like close to it. What's I mean, the uh, what's the GT Goku look like again? Right here. That's him. There he is. Oh, Goku. I'm bugging. I'm sorry. All right. Baby boy. GT Pan? Is that what There she is. Yeah. All right. That figure's body looks fucking so interesting. There's a lot of articulation there. Yeah. Uh, Interesting cuts for sure, but uh, still maintaining the silhouette. So it's it's an A for me. You know, the only thing I didn't like about this trunk that I saw was, and it's not the figure's fault. It's whoever posed it. That kick is. The leg. The leg is crazy. What is this? Look at this. What the fuck? <laughs> Who posed this? This is terrible. I can see what they're going for. There's like a there is a specific like piece of key art where he is kicking like this, but it's not a straight kick. He's like doing like a hook, like sweeping kick or something. Um so who knows? They should have you know, that knee is bothering me as well, but it is what it is. You know. Yeah. It's awful. <laughs> it's um, awful. Yeah. yeah. Overall, but, it's just a scope though. Yeah, it, yeah, it's an incredible sculpt. Uh, like the face, the face is some of the sharpest faces we've ever seen. It's very, very good. Yeah, really, really true to animation. That's fantastic. This one right here I is like did, my favorite. Uh, I did finally pull the trigger on twenty. Was it? Hell yeah, dude! And twenty at the same time, though. Actually, which one? Oh, fat and skinny man. Yes, I love them. They're permanently displayed on my desk, literally right here. I'm talking about. <laughs> I'm talking about baby. <laughs> All right, cool. Um, uh, what else, Rick? Anything else here worth noting? Um, yeah, we could talk about um, Giyu, uh from Demon Slayer. Oh, okay. Or okay. we'll we'll do this first. We'll do we'll do Baron, but we'll we'll do we'll do the Baron from Gaim, huh? Hell yeah, dude! Look at this guy. They just Fucking dropped like a Gaim, bunch of riders. <laughs> like at the Gaim same orange time. arms. <laughs> yeah, they're they're doing like this whole project of like re-releasing shit, Shinkocho Seho style, and mm-hmm. it's cool. That's I, we're, wonderful. We're, I know Nemo's in the chat right now. He's um, I don't think he. I don't know if he, Nemo likes Gaim though. Um, mm. but uh, it's it's been cool to see. Definitely want that Kuga, and um, they showed a long time ago. So don't bother scrolling. There's Baron Banana Arms. Yeah. yeah. Um, they showed uh, they showed some of the fucking uh, Forze stuff. Or no, Fi. Sorry, I said Fi. Oh, and and God. and they, they did tease Forze as well. I thought. When they when they release Forza, I'm gonna lose my mind. What's the difference between this Kuga and the other one? Is it the same one or no? I'm pretty sure it's just the stand. Okay, oh, it's the fifth. It's, it's just it's just re-releasing the Shinkocho Seho, I believe, with just the stand. Stand. Oh, and it's got. Uh... Oh, dang. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Yeah, a lot of These people missed out on this Kuga. So. Yeah, all the Shinkocho Seho Seho stuff is like usually a little bit over retail, and not too much, but annoying enough over retail typically. Yeah. Um, but let me tell you something. If you like the riders, yeah, he's that same one newsstand, uh, Kyle. Wonderful, thank um, you. A lot of the old riders, dude. We we're we're up sometimes looking at pre-owned, like they're. Whoa, whoa, whoa. They don't go for whoa. any. You're oh, being attacked. <laughs> oh, that's me. It's the crackling. Is it the crackling? Yeah, Rick's mm. being uh, hit with. Okay. Paintball. <laughs> am I am I fine now? You're good am now. I fine now? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um. <laughs> All those old riders before they were Shinkocho Seho, they're so cheap. So like if you don't mind not having like like super up to date articulation, but like solid enough articulation, all those old mm-hmm. ones super cheap. Yeah, but it's crazy because once you get the old ones and you look at these new ones, like the bodies are insanely different. Like the old ones are yeah, so they're thin. Su- super thin. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, super fucking thin, like it's goofy pretty looking. Crazy. Yeah. But if if you just want a representation on your shelf, then you're fine. Even when they're posing yeah, up, it's no it, big deal. If you don't, yeah. If you don't need it to be like their quote unquote like best iteration or anything like that, you, it doesn't. It doesn't need to be. Um, they're 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 cool. They're like serviceable, essentially. Hell yeah. And then right. there's home, homeboy from Demon Slayer. Let's go. Look at what's that. This, what's this Giyu. guy up to? Who's he? 
He's oh. fucking doing it, this guy. <laughs> Look at him. I still haven't um, watched this. Did you pre-order any of them? No. Well, no, uh, actually mm. I did. I got They're so uh, cheap. I got uh is this Tanjiro? Tanjiro? Yeah. I got him and I yeah, got Tanjiro. his sister. And then Ooh, fuck yeah. Uh but those are like th- those those are the main guys, right? Uh so uh Yeah, th- <laughs> those are the main guys, huh? Is this Goki? This Goki and the and Vegeta? Yeah. Huh? Do, you're doing a full Stephen A. Smith. How yes. funny is it that, that that was all was wasn't that right before? No, it was right, right after. Death? Right after. Right after. Right. Who after. would win? Goku Who? of oh. Vegeta. Vegeta. <laughs> so great, dude. <laughs> now, if you ask me, yeah. and I know you asking, <laughs> that's why I'm reading this. You know, I I, I love that, that. Was one of the funniest things that I was like referring to. Yeah, too, was, that shit was dude, hilarious. It, he, he like his team purposely does it now, Boog. I don't know if you know, but they do it every week now. They pick like the most ridiculous thing he's asked just to get his response. <laughs> like, hey Stephen A, what would you rather do? Fight a hundred chicken-sized horses or fight a hundred or ten horse-sized chickens? Go. And then he's like, he, it, it's and they do it every week. And like sometimes it's like fucking ridiculous. Like one time they asked him if he loved Latinas or not, and he like went off on this rant about loving J Lo. It's it's hilarious. I I love her Puerto Rican spice. It, it, it's really great. It's fucking amazing. Um, yeah, that was awesome. That was hilarious. Um, and then the only other thing I think band I related, I sent it to you in the chat. Oh, you did. I don't know what show this is at. Oh, it must be wherever that Giyu is. Um, whatever show it says that is there, that's where these pictures are from. Um, I sent it to you in the. Uh, okay, the hold on one chat. second. Let me. Yeah, don't worry, don't worry. Oh, nope, don't want to do that. Oh, what have you done? <laughs> Sorry. Okay, cool. Uh, you sent it in the Facebook chat. Yeah, in the Facebook chat. Absolutely. Okay, absolutely. Cool. Just need to stop screen sharing. Yeah. Two photos. Two of them. Dang, whoa. All two of them. Wait, whoa. what, what? Who's this? Who's this? All two of them. <laughs> um, okay, this is on. at some show. I'm going to go to Instamashi right now and read where the fuck this is. Hold on, um, I'm second. assuming it's somewhere, la- it's in like Latin America somewhere because oh. it had a little a little sign on it that said like, um, rest in peace, Master Akira Toriyama. Um. Oh, it doesn't. I guess it's a completely different thing than where that Giyu is. That Giyu is at um, the Kimetsu no Yaiba Festival in Tokyo. So, hey, so you know this, this one, right? The Akira Toriyama. Yeah, right one. there. Mm. Yeah, it says thanks for everything, Master Akira Toriyama, Incredible. or just as Toriyama. But look at that. Damn, not me crying on the podcast. Um, <laughs> amazing, no. amazing. Look at that. They got a. They got it in a fucking PSA style. They sure do. You know, ac- <laughs> acrylic case, brother. Hell yeah. Dude. Um. Yeah, this is cool. Um, it's just a little, just a little thing to show. And then this it's a good. tribute. It's, it's a, a little tribute, tribute baby. You know, it's just, just a little tribute. Just a little tribute. Um, <laughs> that berserk picture. There's a lot of people complaining about Shiruke. That's the girl and like the like the witch girl. Tell me about. Um, it. Some people thought she was. Some people thought she was blue. Okay. But like most of the time, she's drawn in a really, really vibrant purple. But like obviously, kind of like with Spider Man, you know, like the scene, you know, it's got yeah. the shading of it or like whatever it is just make yeah, yeah the shadows just make it look darker so like when she's blue it's really just the darkness of and like the shadows of it she's she's really purple typically so i saw a lot of people complaining like why the fuck is she purple this isn't her color like if you've ever seen miura's like full color versions of the character covers and whatnot she, she's always purple so interesting looks good she looks good um i mean she looks like a traffic cone but i don't care i love the character so i'll take it well, it looks I'm like in. They, looks like hard plastic. Yep. There. Yep. It's 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 it looks fucking rough, but I'll take it. I don't care. I can't mm. believe that a f- action figure of this character exists. Amazing in modern times, at least. I think Art of War made one a long time ago, but that doesn't fucking count. What a time to be alive! And we're living in the future, baby. We are living in the future. Sure. Um. What else did we have? I think that's it for Bandai. Think. Did you want to do the the Hasbro stuff? Yeah, it was just uh, like it was just GI Joe. I think just GI right? Joe. 
I think it's just G.I. Joe, right, Book? Am I tripping? Is there something ML that I'm... Uh, it's like a little tiny bit of Legends okay, stuff cool. to just run an alert for. Cool. That's I did, uh, did get an alert for the Patch and Hulk uh, Wolverine 50th Mama Anniversary. Track. So if you ordered that through Hasbro Pulse, they're going to start charging for that on my birthday, on March the 18th, actually. Oh, yeah. And it was that. And then out of nowhere today, my... 50th anniversary Wolverine and Lalandra two pack converted on Big Bad Toy Store. And so I'm thinking that maybe we'll see uh, regular releases for the Sabretooth and Wolverine two pack very shortly as well, even though a lot of people uh, had got it from Canada or China or wherever they were getting it from, um, you know, some weeks ago early or whatever. But so yeah, look out for that stuff in terms of of legends. But yeah, what was the GI Joe news? Um, people have vamps. There's vamps right yes. now. Oh shit! Yeah, I have the vamp tomorrow actually. Oh my god! Yeah, I saw a few people. I think I think Trav got it. I feel like uh, Brad Harper. Brad Harper has it. Oh, Harper uh, Figs has it. I think Excelsior. I forget the number on his uh, Instagram name, but I think he has it as well. Uh, I saw like a few other people, but uh, yeah. Ty Ty Bacon Ty Bacon has it. Oh, okay, all right. Shout out to him. But uh, do we have pictures of any of shit? <laughs> Absolutely. So I think it's on. Let me look. At, let me see if it's on fucking Ty's shit. Oh yeah, boom. Go to Ty's. Go to Boy Blunder. He's got it. He's fucking rocking and rolling in there. And he said, "Big chilling." What a guy this Ty? Huh? Was it on the story or is it uh where? No, it's on his page. It's on his page. It's the first post. Yeah, my man uh, Excelsior 1975 has it as well. Look at that. Oh, wow. Tight Look at shot, that. baby. Tight Looking shot. good. Looks very good. You said Excelsior? Big tie guy. Hmm? Excelsior has yeah, it? Yeah, Excelsior 1975 has it as well. Um, And I think Trav is doing a review. I don't know that he actually put up any pictures or anything like that. Celsius got Celsius some good too. One nine seven five. Yeah, yeah. He got some good photos. Boom, baby. Look at that. Let's go. Look at those winches. They're winching. Mm, shooting out the window. There Chicago is. style. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah, dude. Yeah, it looks good, man. It looks good. This is crazy. I, I, I'm, I'm getting the vamp tomorrow. Still ain't open his tank. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my crazy. God. What do you what do you think you're gonna open first book? Uh, I don't know. I, I might open this because it's a little smaller and more compact and kind of easier to to deal with right now. But yeah, this looks good, man. The figure looks great. Look at that. And it arrived to people's doorsteps in record time. Yeah, for sure, for sure. So yeah, through this through this weekend, we'll see uh, quite a bit show up with with everybody else. I somebody had asked me about whether or not I thought they would put it back in stock. I'm sure there's some people that pre-ordered this, quite a few people that pre-ordered it that won't be able to pay for it in time. And then <laughs> those orders will go back up and be available. So I'm sure it'll be a short window of some of these that they'll put back up. And then maybe like another month or two, you'll probably get another shot at it. Oh, uh, for sure. For I, wouldn't, sure I, wouldn't, I wouldn't worry. Yeah, they did not spend this much to produce this shit to not like re-release it, yeah, I don't yeah, think. For sure, for sure. So I wouldn't I wouldn't worry. Um there was that, and then I think uh, a couple of new pre-orders for classified went up, right? Wasn't it the shockwave with the uh the motorcycle, which was a reuse in itself. Yep. It's just a different colorway for that motorcycle. I feel like it's like the third or fourth time that they've used that particular um design. Yeah, um, and then um we also saw the um the what's it called go up the what's that what's the name of that fucking guy with the pig? A oh, goofy name. Um, yeah, I saw that they was they made a mistake again, actually. Yep, twenty-four ninety nine, baby. Oh, Went up for twenty four ninety nine. I think it was supposed to be thirty four ninety nine. We talk about Norga Hyde. Yep. Um you could see it on As I don't was. know, Walmart. I think it was Walmart. Walmart. There's a shot Walmart right there with the bike right there though. That I was just talking about. This right here. So yeah, yeah, this one up for pre-order. Uh, actually, no, did it go up for pre-order? It did, right? 
Uh, I think so. You, usually, when the, usually when they say things like this, it's it's because it, it went up for pre-order. Yeah, we get it at uh, 10 a.m. Eastern time for Hasbro Pulse Premium. Okay, okay yeah. So this one up. Again, this is just a redeco of a bike that we've seen a couple of times. We've seen a like a Tiger Force version, I believe, and then the original one was with uh, Breaker. Um, but yeah, this is our first uh, Shockwave. Not probably not the colorway for him that everybody wants. I think I, uh, most people are probably waiting for the the blue, um, but yeah, look cool nonetheless. So, uh, um, what were we talking about? Big guy, big uh, man, uh, no guy. That's his no name. Guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not guy. too far. Yeah, they made a mistake again. There he is, right there. Um, there he is. And this went up for twenty four ninety nine on Walmart. Oh, on Walmart. Yeah. Give me and the animals. Yeah, a bunch of people. <laughs> you <mean the> animals. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, a bunch of people cop cop this, and uh, and it sold out. So uh, yeah, I'm sure there'll be another shot at this as well. But again, GI Joe continuing the great tradition of putting out some really great articulated animals. So, in the words of me, That's give me cool. the animals. Give me the animals, baby. <laughs> Uh, fucking animals, baby. It was something else too. Oh, on uh, a couple of uh, things converted for me on BBTS, I think last week as well too. The seal dude and the other uh, uh, desert gear army builders converted for me as well on Big Bad Toy Store, and those had went up for the wrong price originally as well. Okay. Oh, and you know, the chat is saying book the shockwave is shipping right now. Oh, it's shipping already. Really? Mm -hmm. wow. They don't play no games over at G.I. Joe. Yeah, the 60th anniversary action sailor converted for me on Big Bad Toy Store and the 60th anniversary action soldier converted as well. Um, I would definitely like uh, a decent squad of, of each of these, but I only ordered one and one uh, initially. But yeah, G.I. Joe doing that thing as usual. We are patiently waiting for the release of the Dragonfly later this year. Uh, so G.I. Joe continuing to put out quite a few vehicles and uh, accessories for vehicles. And you know, we got that little hitch or winch or whatever it is for your his tank that you can get soon. Yeah, that's just awesome. looking good, man. It's looking really, really good. Yeah. I know. Uh, and then um. And then Legends has a bunch of two packs hitting right now. People have the Sabretooth and Wolverine. People have the Psylocke and Wolverine. Mm -hmm. um, Unparalleled yeah, Universe has has the Angel. <laughs> yeah, I was just I was just talking about the Wolverine stuff. You acting like Fabio right now. <laughs> <laughs> I was I was I was trying to lead into Unparalleled Universe having the Angel. <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, yeah, I did. I did see. I did see Wade uh, posted up Angel. Quite quite a few other like uh, review people picked up Angel early as well. I'm pretty sure it was CMD store that had those things early, the Wolverine and Saber 2 2 pack and the, the Angel. Angel looks great. It looks it looks really good. But yeah, check out Wade's uh Wade's review. He's got a review that's popping right now. And, and the the Psylocke and uh and Wolverine as well. Oh that one's coming out right now too. All right. Yeah somebody somebody I've never heard of this person's uh profile name Real Ryorex. He has them in hand and he's posting them up. Sure pretty good. I don't know who that is but I don't know who that is but he's got them. Where is it on okay. Instagram? Uh, yes, I'll link it in our uh, podcast chat. Do we want to take a quick look at uh, Angel on Wade's thing real quick, just to yeah, yeah. show it off real fast? Yeah. On Wade's? All right, hold on one second. Yeah. Let me pull this up. How does it feel having Fabio's job, huh? So, you know, I well, like I mentioned when this first <laughs> came out, it's uh. Yo, you know what? I saw someone, I think it might have been Marvelous Action Poses or something like that, put the uh, blue-faced angel head on the new angel body. Look, look Ooh. really cool. Real good. That um, is where interesting. Is it? Oh, here. D I'm done. My right there. Yeah, that's, that's <laughs> the one with the wings, brother. Yeah, we would have <laughs> the, uh, the other dude's uh, Instagram for that look. But yeah, this, this looks great, man. Fuck them hands, but <laughs> yeah yeah i'm not a fan of the hands i know a lot of people were complaining but i swear i swear like we have to keep reiterating um they claim 
and we have to take them at their fucking word, you know, because there's nothing else we can do, that it is not possible to do the butterfly joints and have two ports on the back. They claim that that is not a possibility. Mm -hmm. So I see, I'm sure I say, I see there's people in their, in Wade's I mean, comments right now, like, I mean, no, I'm butterflies pretty, bullshit. I'm pretty happy with the, at least the advancement and <laughs> this wing technology. I mean, remember how that yeah. first angel got in the toy biz days was now don't get me wrong. Those wings were nicely painted and, um, and you know had great shading and they they looked good but they only flat you know it was only a hinge mm. you know so this you got the hinge and you could splay them out as well and they look okay they look decently painted i'm sure with a little dry brush and you could probably make it look a lot better but inevitably we will see this guy in his blue uniform um with this uh you know with this uh this sculpt but just a, a different deco and that'll get you very close to completing a, a champions squad uh legends continue to continuing to uh knock out a lot of a lot of teams too mm. but yeah if you want to check out marvelous action poses i think is his instagram to just to take a look at the look that up. blue head so um, good. <laughs> uh, you know, I uh, begrudgingly follow a lot of these hand poser people, but you know, sometimes they're not hand posing, and it's interesting. And oh, that blue head, that's right. good. Uh, what are we looking for on this guy's page? This one, yeah, on that one, you were on the right yeah, one. The blue, if you keep going, it's like the second or third picture. Let's see, or oh, okay, not. there it is, yeah. Oh, that's cool. That's I love it. I like that a lot. Um, yeah, obviously this uh, this body, this buck is a uh, you know a little larger than the um, previous bucks that we had for uh, Archangel Angel for Archangel because this is our, actually our first angel. Yeah. Yeah, I like this man. I like this. It looks it looks good. All right. I think that's it for uh, for Legends. Uh, like I said, I've been uh, continuing to build out my builder figures and getting some things really situated with uh, with Legends. I am two figures shy of having every single Marvel Legends builder figure from the beginning of time. Hell yeah. Oh my god! Um, so yeah, I'm about to finish up Void. Shout out to uh, <clears throat> shout out to the good people at Forbidden Planet. They uh, held on to uh, Neymar for me so I could get one more part for Void. And now I'm just missing uh, mm -hmm. uh, Vance and Neymarita, I believe. And I'll be finished with that and I'll be all caught up with every single Marvel Legends Builder figure. Shout out to everybody who's been helping me army build these mindless ones as well. Still looking for the upper torso and some like right legs. How Anybody many are you at right now? I'm building 10. I have almost four completely built, but I'm building 10. So feeling pretty good about that. Yeah. That's, it. That's fantastic. Oh, That's fantastic. Shout out, shout out to David Walton. Um, quick hit about the uh, Transformers, since we're still on Hasbro, I guess, right? Mm -hmm. uh, uh, you know, the Transformers uh, Kickstarter for what is that? Character. Um, big guy. I don't remember it off the top of my head. <laughs> Bueller. Uh, Bueller. Whatever, whatever Kickstarter they just had is completely successful. They are like 12K over the amount needed. Oh, and um, yeah, just another reminder how Marvel Legends collectors are bums. So <laughs> just wanted to point that Omega, out. Omega Prime. Omega Prime. Yes, I was talking Thank with. You, uh, David Walton about that earlier, but yeah, Transformers coming through. We could barely put together a successful run for uh, Marvel Legends Giant Man. So again, Marvel Legends collectors proven to be the pores of collecting. Oh, well, wow. Snowcat says it's the second most <laughs> successful HasLab behind Galactus. Incredible. Sad. That's crazy. <laughs> that is crazy. Sad. Bro. 
<laughs> oh, that's that's true. Jason, Jason S is right. Black series collectors are bigger bums. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Um, you think before, so? No, they're not. Yeah. They're not cheap. When I say oh. bums, I mean like not just being like little babies about shit, but just being like cheap. Black series collectors are not cheap. Um, I mean, Rick, I don't, I don't you're falling down a flight of stairs right now, Rick. What the yeah, fuck yeah, is going really. on with them, Mike? They spend money. It's just, <laughs> you know. So, um, yeah. That all right. failure. What else? We, what else we got? Um, before we move on, we do have super chats we need to read. Oh, um, yeah. Micah Salinas with his tenth super chat. My God, there's Let's been go. ten of them from you. My God, amazing. Amazing. Shout out to you, man. Um, with no it. message. I wish I wish you had a message. I could have read it out loud in a sel- an sultry sexual voice. He said at the beginning of the no, show, I no. always forget to write something. <laughs> he said that oh, at the damn. very beginning of the show. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there it is right there. Yeah, I always forget to write something. Um, always forget to write Shout something. out to Kevin. Kevin's in the chat right now. He's having a convention in Toronto, Toy Con. If you're in T-Dot, baby, it's if true. you're living near Drake, Hit the toy convention up. He's doing it. <laughs> First time doing his own shit. It's fantastic. Um, so we got another super sure. chat from Taco Boy. It says, Taco nice to Boy. see everyone. Miss y'all. I love Taco Boy, man. What a, what a fucking great we, man. This is his you. fifth super chat. Taco Let's Boy, go. come on. Come on. Amazing. Five, you're blowing my mind, Taco Boy. Come on. You're come blowing on. my mind, Taco Boy. Come on. You're blowing my mind, Taco Boy. <laughs> um, and then we have another one from Brad Harper. Says, Return of the Kings, baby. Let's go. Wow. Bradley sharper than Harper. You're something else, man. Shout out You're to B Harper. Else. Yeah, that's so funny, Ebony Leopard. Ebony Leopard saying the funny thing is that people in the to- in the Transformers community didn't think it would get back when they first revealed it. Yep, I remember. I remember everybody mm-hmm. was like, "Why Omega? Why this one? And you could make this thing." And look at it, super successful. Yeah. Um, so you know what? Those voices were not loud enough. Um, not the loud people enough. with the wallets shout spoke out to, much louder. Uh, shout out to uh, Danny LeBlanc, who had cool. the pleasure of attending some like exclusive um, Ghostbusters stuff this past week, and uh, I think that he like I think they kind of like confirmed what the next Ghostbusters has lab is going to be. Well, they didn't really confirm it; they kind of like hinted at it or whatever. But according to him, we're going to get or. Not we, because I don't give a fuck about it. <laughs> but <laughs> collectors, Ghostbusters lovers are gonna get um, one twelve scale uh, uh, Ecto one. Oh shit! I think it's happening. Breaking news, Good right here. Shout out to uh, Danny LeBlanc. He was uh, rubbing elbows with uh, Emily because you know she's part of like every Hasbro team at this Wonderful. event, uh, and uh, she was there, a little inebriated from what I hear, but having a good time and. Uh, it was great. It was great. So shout out to Danny and uh, shout out to Ed. Hell yeah. Big shout out. All right. Your son. Yes, my son. <laughs> I love you, son. <laughs> uh, I guess it's just quick hits left, huh? Let's, uh, let's blitz through uh, Lago's page. Let's take a look. Speaking. Let's take a uh, look. See. Speaking of something that hit action figure adjacent news was Spider-Man two has a, had an update the other week and they added an action figure photo mode where they shrink your model and they put in little fucking hands. Oh no. Hold on. It's in, it's in, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> explain this to me. Again? Wait, what? So, so hold on one second. Um, I think Machu Machu has another post about this as well. Hey, you know what? We got to touch on the X Men 97 news, actually, too. Sure. Okay. Rick. Rick is just like in the netherworld somewhere, right? Rick. Now. Rick sounds like he's an action figure. He's so far away from the microphone. <laughs> okay. Um, so. All right. So, can you explain this? So, in the game, you can pause the game at any time and then you can enter a photo mode. It's something that's very popular with first party mm-hmm. uh, Sony Sony games. They let you, they, it's basically a virtual camera. They let you mess with the aperture and f stop and all that stuff. It's really great. Wow, really? Um, yeah, it's fantastic. That is very toy photographer friendly. Friendly, and, exactly. Yeah. So, they added a new mode with the newest update where you could shrink your character model 
and turn them into action figure sized. And you can have other people hold it. So you can have your hand posing in Jesus your video Christ. games. It is, it has <laughs> infiltrated everything. <laughs> this is, yo, this is actually pretty wild. This is, this is not, <laughs> you know, this is pretty, uh, uh, purposeful like you know like this is definitely them riding the wave of you know what's what's popping right now with the uh, with the the hand pose and shit like you know this is literally it it's crazy it's well machu machu did did disclose that the hand is not real the hand is not that you can't actually have them holding it um mm. and some of yeah. them you can but uh there's not an option to add a hand to it they, it shrinks your model down but depending on where you have them positioned. You can have them in people's hands and whatnot. I and, see. And stuff. I see. But it's Damn, fun, fun little joke. Yeah, that's pretty cool. That's cool. Rick, you got to leave and come back or something. Cause yeah, yeah, for real. Can, can leave. I can oh. actually barely hear you. <laughs> yeah, I forgot to uh, mention that the X Men 97, th there was two bits of news. I guess they try to like cover up the controversial news with uh, uh, oh, yeah. a little uh, some, you know, some um, uh, action from from the show or whatever. They um, really so did. <laughs> the controversial news was that the basically the writer, he was like the writer, producer, what, what, what was he? He was heavily involved is what he was. All right. I think <laughs> I'm not, uh, I believe Dallas had the story maybe on his, on his Instagram. On his Instagram. Okay. Let's um, check. check a look. Dallas James. Baby. Look, you know, quite a few people posted a, about it, but yeah, basically the writer and producer, however many hats he was wearing, that dude was let go from the show. So I'm not really sure how the, I mean, I guess however many episodes are already in the bag, in the books or whatever. So I, I don't know how heavily it might affect this first season or whatever, but he is no longer employed. Um, we don't really know what the deal is or what the scandal was or why, but yeah, he's uh, he's out. He's gone. Uh, he's done so. Yeah. Did Dallas have it? No, I don't. I don't see it on Dallas's page um he posted the clip of like all the action and stuff but nothing uh, okay maybe maybe elvis had it e rivera yeah hold on let's see rick where are you rick knows the story better than either he one really us, does so. no nothing on nothing on e's page hold on let me see if i right. just find it in like p and p or something i'm sure they're talking about yeah it. just just google it fuck it that's true <laughs> All right, let's see. Yeah, okay, so yes. Here we but go. um the, the initial like action that I saw from um the show, I thought the animation looked kind of kind of whack, honestly, but the this most recent animation that they showed looked pretty pretty fucking good to me. But yeah. anyway, yeah, what's 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 homeboy's name? It's uh Bo DeMeo. Okay, That's, Bo DeMeo. That sounds that shit sounds made up, bug. I don't know about you. <laughs> <laughs> sounds like a fucking baseball player. Or I know. Shit. <laughs> like 19, the nineteen thirties or some shit. <laughs> Bo DeMeo stepping up the plate. <laughs> <laughs> so was it? Was it? Was it say here? I can't see this. It says uh, breaking X Men ninety seven showrunner. Bo DeMeo has been fired a week before the show's premiere. No reason has been given, and DeMeo will not promote the show in any capacity. Uh, Rick also did mention... Hold on. Let me go ahead and add Rick real quick. Boom. Rick. Can you see my hand? I can. Yes. Can you hear me? Yeah, yes. we can hear you now. Yeah, we can hear you now. You're a, you're a little low, but nowhere near as bad as last time. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, tell us all about this, Rick, because you know what's going on. Oh yeah, yeah, it was funny. Um, when they first announced this thing, and I'm sure, I'm sure Poncho remembers, the first thing I said was, "This guy did something," because he was in charge of a lot of things. He, would, he, he wrote the script. He wrote the script for Blade. Um, he's the showrunner for 
X Men ninety seven, and he wrote some of Moon Knight and like a few other things. So everybody was like, "Yeah, this dude did something," and that's a me or that's what I thought that he immediately did something. And um, sure enough, it came out today. Was it today or yesterday? I can't remember. Um, that um, people were involved in the production of X Men ninety seven said that he was a nightmare to work with, and that uh, he was on a daily basis a nightmare to work with and apparently disney executives found out that he had a male only fans and that they thought it was quote unquote creepy how do you keep something like that under wraps for so long he he had a and you know know what's funny is that the picture of him is like shirtless yes like we can't see it hold on can't see it there it is hold on one second let me let me let me oh he's gonna pull it up let me blow it up. Oh, wait, no, a minute, wait a minute. He, he had his own OnlyFans that he was uh, premiering in and featured in? That's what they're saying. Show it, Rick. I have you full screen. And it was oh, male okay. only, you said? An all male cast. Mm. Uh, I, I saw that picture and I was like, why are they showing this picture? Uh, I saw it out of context. <laughs> and I was like, oh, yeah. it makes, makes total sense now. <laughs> It's a weird thing, like Disney. Disney lets go of people, like you know. That's not what's weird. What's weird is like doing it right before the premiere, and he was involved in so much. Like, I knew he had to have done something. Like, there's no way I mean, that they just. But did when it. they say a nightmare to work with, what does that mean? Was he like, you know, was this some? Uh, apparently, he was like, um, like mentally, like fucking with he was like giving people like mental distress and whatnot um we don't know like super exact details yet but like people are coming out saying that he was like but they're not saying it was anything of a like sexual nature right no 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 he was just like uh he was just verbally like like, verbally abusive and like you know all right tremble is saying he didn't keep it under wraps so i guess people just knew that he had a oh people just knew (laughs) so disney just not fucking with the gays huh is that what it is? Um, they're not messing with him. You know, maybe they're like <laughs> there's a little too much sass with it. You know what I mean? They were like, "Hey, man, you're 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 making people feel like shit." You know, that's where we draw the line. I don't know. I smell uh like suit or some shit because he's oh. he's gonna come out and he'd say be, he'd be, he'd be a fool discrimination. Not. It's happening. Yeah, yeah. Pretty people are saying he's just an asshole. He's just fired for being yeah. an asshole. Yeah, it's, it's quite possible. <laughs> Yeah, but that, that's not going to negate the fact that he will probably still say that they are discriminating against him yeah, in, in like, some form or fashion. Like Gina Carano is trying to sue over being a Nazi sympathizer mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. a fucking racist. And like her defense is ridiculous. Like you sign these like agreements that, with these companies where you're not supposed to like bring bad attention to yourself like that. Like, you know, Listen, it's, man, it's fucking Disney. Disney. Like, what, what are you going to do? Code of it's conduct not- is standard of when you fucking work at Target. Like it's <laughs> everybody has them. What are you talking about? You're not. You're not. Winning, you're not winning anything against Disney. Like this, literally no, the Illuminati. Yeah. <laughs> like what? Speaking about. of Illuminati, did you guys read any of these super chats? No, we can't. Uh, I can't okay. see them. Are there new? Well, super we chats? got a super chat. Oh yeah. <laughs> sure oh yeah. Did. There's many of them. Got a new super chat from Ebony Leopard. You ever heard of him? Ebony he's Leopard, a bit of a, a, bit of a local legend. Mm-hmm. That's um, true. Spiro Toys on the second Kickstarter. It's already funded. Oh really? Okay. It's already it. funded. It's already funded. He said that's what he's saying. Oh. And then we got one from Cap Lives. You guys ever heard of Cap Lives? I've heard, heard of him. him. He's a great man, that Brian. And uh, this is his third one, but he says he sent a lot more than that. That this is bullshit. Said, <laughs> oh, yes, he has. He has said. I, I, said more. I, I, yeah. definitely, I definitely got to give him credit for that. That's he's gotten a lot more than this. Yeah, he says, I got nothing. Just take my money. Wow, Brian. All right. Here's something else, brother. <laughs> and we got one from Nick Fury. Uh, shout out to the whole crew. First super chat. Wow. Oh, let's go. Yo, shout out. Birthday? Sh- yeah, yeah. Shout out to my man Nick Fury. It was his birthday yeah. yesterday or the day before yesterday. Yeah, shout out to all the uh, the March the March yeah. Pisces crew, man. Babies, March babies. Oh wow, we just got two more while I was reading them. This Incredible. is insane. I I can't look at me. I'm I can't take it. There's, there's so many. <laughs> <laughs> Drowning in soup. Um, and then the fat man sixty nine food. 
said as a super chat he says he was giving us x-men and his x-man disney was not happy about all the men and x and the 97 Jeez. <laughs> This was a this was some message, brother. Triple X Men. Triple X Men. There you go. They they weren't happy with that title. We got one from Bo Biggs. As always, there's no message from Bo Biggs, but his actions speak volumes. I mean, <laughs> they speak louder than the words do. If That's we had true. a hush Migo, he'd he'd be the he'd be the face of it, I'll tell you that. Absolutely. If we had that sort of thing. Um shout out to the Migos. Um T Smith. We got T Smith is back. Oh my Smith, god, baby. T Smith. I know he's been saying that he's been missing them due to work and uh, life getting in the way. What a guy. He's back. And he's here to say love, peace, and chicken grease. Shout Let's out go. the gang. P.S. Transformers Target exclusive with the dog. Oh, bro. We got to talk about the fucking Transformers exclusive with the dog. Wait, 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 what? With the dog? What kind of dog? Uh, what the, what dog, the dog doing? <laughs> quite a, it caused quite a controversy, as uh, Fabio would say. He's not here, so I'm going to do it. Um, on the Migos last night, where it was pretty divided. People either thought mm-hmm. it was hilarious and loved it, or they thought it was fucking awful. Um, mm-hmm. I thought it was great. If you, I'll, I'll put it, I'll send it to you right now. It's on Lago's page, but I'll just send it to you so you don't have to scroll. I got Lago's where page pulled thing? up right now. You know? Where is it? You're blowing my mind. Shout out to Lago Figs. What a beautiful human being that is. Um, it's there. It's the no! only Target one. You <laughs> two Optimus Prime, baby. Wow. Dude. Wow. I love this. I love this. Dude, this I actually kind of like this too, man. Dude, and it comes, it comes with a spot the dog, and spot the dog transforms into a bubble mailer. <laughs> Holy cow. How cool is that? That is, that is, that is American marketing at its finest right there. Look and I say, that. though, as much as I love this, how stupid it is that they didn't do this with Amazon Prime first. I Amazon know. Prime Come on. Yeah. Come on. Come <laughs> on. Well, I'm done. I'm done. That's wow. That's cool. Yeah. This is really cool. They they could have well, easily just buy, done. But it's a great novelty yeah. item. It's a great gift. Yeah. Yeah. You know? Yeah. It's, like it's it's a little goofy. It's like it's fucking it's fucking capitalism in your face, you know? Yeah, it's not it's not taking itself too seriously though. I'm with it. I, I'm, I'm I'm really with it. It's a fun little, it's a fun little piece. And I'll you know tell you what, what though, that, those those wheels on the back look a little, look a little, look a little <laughs> wild though. Oh, some wild wheels. Right, wild wheels. Like clumsy. The but I'm with it. That's Crazy. cool. Yeah, <laughs> it's amazing. It's amazing. And you know, this will, it's like I said, this will definitely be on discount because this is a Target item. So, oh yeah, mm. chill out, baby. You'll be able to find it for even less than retail. I'm betting. Yep, it's happening. I believe so. Um, yeah, we got sidetracked like hell, though. Uh, sure Can't we was oh, trying wow. to show the X97 store. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, what, what more else is there to say? We got the, uh, oh, the, there, uh, there is one more thing to say. What's that? that? Apparently, apparently, the Optimus Prime, Amazon Prime thing was a thing, and it was canceled. Mm. It was like a thing, so they moved on. Amazon, Jeffy boy, you're not getting a cut of this pie. Mm. Mm, oh, Jeff said, "Fuck cool. that! I'm already super stupid, stinky rich. I don't yeah, need that's that." That's true. <laughs> He's very stinky. We're there. I'm hearing big stink. Hmm. Um. So yeah, X Men '97 dude is out. We don't out. know what that means or who's gonna be the writer, producer, or whatever for the following season. But they already got all his blood sweat and tears in this first season or whatever so if it's super good then be prepared for it to be not as good <laughs> the next go around maybe uh if it's really bad then maybe it, maybe it'll maybe it'll be better but uh but yeah can we take a look at the uh the little sentinel fight that they that they showed off to yeah. kind oh, of I think the fact that they fired this dude i think we'd get in trouble <laughs> if we did that but you think yeah, so? Yeah, we don't got to show it. Oh, just, we can't show the, it? Just the still, you know, because if we play it, right, right. it's yeah, not the right. sound, it's the image, too. We, we've tried yeah, to play yeah, it. Yeah. it fuck us every time. Yeah, yeah, all right. Just give us a few a few stills. Like I said, the animation looked pretty good, man. I uh, I I thought it looked pretty good. I thought it was going to be what do you think? kind of whack. I thought it was getting overhyped, but yeah, it looked pretty good. Uh, I think this looks uh, leaps and bounds better than anything we've seen before. Um. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> especially from from like America. Yeah, 
I will yeah. say and that um, I talked about this with uh, the group chat that uh, Rick and I are in with David Walton. Um, mm-hmm. They went so out of their way to, uh, what do you call it? Uh, preserve the art style of, of the 97 uh, series by itself. Like a lot of their early stills and everything were, were very adjacent of that art style. But like, you know, when it comes to these action sequences, like they're animated very well. And, but I think the art direction is like completely different. They're just wearing the same clothes and they're just designed the same as the old dudes. But like the art direction Mm -hmm. is like completely different to the point where like when, when they're in motion, like this right here, they look totally off model of like Mm -hmm. what those character sheets are supposed to look like. But you know, that that's, you know, that's not really a bad thing. Like if, if the animation looks good, then, you know, you can be a little off model here or there, but yeah. um, I'm, I think I'm this action it. sequence it looks, sharp. looks crazy. It looks sharp, you yeah. know? I'm hearing so what's, the, uh, the chat this, is saying this... that, that he did two seasons already. Oh, he did two seasons already. Yeah, Dang. Almost three, apparently. Um, off the star says almost three seasons done, but he did two. For sure. um, so that's crazy. Got him. Damn. Well, I mean, they already cut the check. Or, I mean, it's not... It's not a, uh, you know, it is what it is. I'm sure. I'm sure he, he was still nicely compensated, and it is what it is. Yeah, he got his. He got his pay. He got his pay. So they got to cut the check regardless. But yeah, this yeah. looks a lot sharper than I, than I uh, anticipated. Yeah. Especially this right here, the way Wolverine looks. Like mm-hmm. he looks very sharp and lean. He looks very lean. And, like, and guess what? He's using his fucking claws. Thank Look God. at that. <laughs> Dude, why isn't he riding Gambit? Nah, I hate it. I hated that. That's what turned me off initially. Was, like, was what goofy. was that? pretty goofy? That was goofy uh, as fuck. Realistically, it's it's. it's I, Pancho Pancho hated that that we weren't a fan of it last time. I think, but um, Wolverine weighs a fucking lot. <laughs> <laughs> that is true. That is That's true. I never thought about, about it. It's like yo, He's this dude weighs like. 400 pounds or some shit. He's like. breaking that boy's back for sure. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's fucking crazy. Yeah, Scales I can't wait for this. Thing. Should be out in two weeks, right? In the March? Yeah, yeah, maybe like two weeks, something like that. Um, So yeah, that's that. X-Men 97 writer and producer is out, but they oh, already milked him for almost three seasons, according to the chat. Mm-hmm. And we will see what happens. X Men ninety seven Wave one and two of Marvel Legends are out. Uh, wave one we saw get clearance heavily. Wave two is probably doing a little better. Uh, I think it's more characters that people really wanted, including uh, Cyclops without any cell shading, and oh. uh, a Nightcrawler with you know a pinless Nightcrawler. Everything's been pinless for that matter. So uh, so yeah, man, it's looking uh, it's looking pretty good. This thing is out in five days, so this will be out before we do the next podcast. Okay, holy cow. All right. Um, I think there was something else we needed to touch on that we were about to get into before we sidetracked to this. Was there? We talked about Toriyama. We talked about X-Men 97. Street Sharks? Mm. Huh? (laughs) Street sharks. Street sharks. Street oh, street sharks. That's exactly what it was. I had just saw the the solicit for it and oh. wanted to mention that. Listen, yeah. I I hate this shit. It's just <laughs> on you. <laughs> but why? Why do you hate fun? Bug? Tell us. I hate. I hated it when it when the initial cartoon came out. When it like, came out, like, yeah, like all right, this is this is not for me. I'm I'm good. So yeah. Uh, yeah, I was never a fan. Um, I didn't hate it though. I was just like, "Oh, tight street sharks." Okay. I was I was a fan of it as a kid, and okay. I had a lot of the uh, I had a lot of the toys. But even though I'm saying that to you right now, I don't have an interest in buying these. I know that the articulation is a little bit updated because back in the day, the legs had basically no articulation and the arms. Mm-hmm. Didn't. So you know they did do something for it. But like if these were like a master verse style upgraded redo i'd probably be interested in that but like i don't have any interest in like buying a toy that's like almost I, I exactly don't know who's uh who's making these who's making these mattel oh it's mattel okay yeah. mattel. um 
I just don't have, I just don't have an interest in buying something that's like at this point in my collecting life, I don't have any interest in buying something that's like not super articulated and that's not going to work in some way with what I have. Like if yeah. like I said, these were like an updated, like master verse style, fucking like six inch scale, like hyper. Yeah. Like the biker mice basically. Yeah. Like or, if it was even on par with that. Yeah. Another good example that uh, I we said we're going to get into um, because Ebony Leopard talked about it was Spiro toys. If it was something along those lines, I'd be in. I'd I'd buy them. But like this, like maybe, maybe, maybe I'd buy one just to keep in the box for nostalgia's sake or something, but I don't even think I'm gonna do that. These things yeah. are $30 a piece. They're oh, not maybe 30 bucks for these? Oh, $24.99. $24.99. $24.99. Well, I mean, after <laughs> after shipping, okay. that's a pop from a I mean, that's that's, that's almost thirty bucks though. But yeah, yeah, okay. That's gonna be more than thirty dollars with shipping and tax from Mattel Creations. Um they don't have a membership like like uh, Hasbro Pulse does, they have like individual brands have, and I and obviously Street Sharks does not have a brand membership um, mm. right now. So I, I don't think I'd buy them. Maybe if I saw like at a toy yeah. show or something, if we go to Comic Con and it's at the booth, I'd buy one just for nostalgia's sake. Like, look, it's mm. awesome, you know. Mm. Um, but did, yeah, um, going into it, did either of you get any of the biker mics? I'm gonna order Throttle mm. um, and see what I think, but I'm gonna order Throttle. Um, I know we have them in. He's putting up. He's doing the reviews right now. So, hear good things. All three hit my pile of loot. Uh, mm. I might just let that shit lapse out. Uh, I see. Oh my uh, god! And, um, when are we supposed to expect the bikes? I think I asked that before. Uh, I don't know. David would know because David is actually super into those bikes. Oh, oh, he's into. You it? know what? I, you know what I should tell you to promote a good friend of ours going around who's having a toy convention in Toronto this weekend. <laughs> toy Expo. Go look it up. Um. Shout out to Mario. Uh, taught me, taught me well. Um, but <laughs> he did an interview with with, with Volkweiss um, on the bike. You can oh, check out yeah. on his channel. Oh, okay. So All right. It's an update on the bike and everything. I I didn't watch it yet, so I wish that I could tell you some sort of information. But it's out there. Mm. If you want to check it out, it's it's out there. So head over to Toying Around, Kevin. Toying Around. He's also All doing right. a convention this weekend in Toronto. Hell yeah. Yeah, Kevin's been doing quite a bit of uh, traveling. I see. Has fingers in a lot yeah, of he's um, you don't, you don't play no games, man. He's he, he has he's got the kids, he's got the the podcasts, he's got the toy con, he's doing it all. That Kev, that K dog. Good for him. He's something else. He's a he's a dynamo. That fella. Um. All right. So Street Sharks, uh, twenty four ninety nine for slightly upgraded figures from nineteen ninety. Yeah, uh, you, you, you said you're not buying these, up, huh, Poncho? No, I, I thought about it. You know, Poncho mm -hmm. ten years ago would probably yeah. buy every single one of these. Uh, mm -hmm. just, yeah, but like now, I'm like, I'm cool. <laughs> I'm good. Yeah, like, like I said, like if we like if we go to Comic Con and like I'm waiting in line for my girlfriend to get her like a Monster High doll or something at Mattel, and they have one yeah. for like thirty bucks. Yeah, yeah, do it. But yeah, like I'm order from Mattel Creation, pay like almost forty bucks for it after the shipping and the tax. Yeah, no, no way. Well, they'll, no they'll way. also I'm be at like tax. Walmart and like Amazon Entertainment Earth as well. Oh, hmm. um, okay, well, that's interesting then. Um, we'll see, but I, I, I don't, I, I doubt that I would. But yeah, this is like uh, a, this is like an impulse buy. It's not something I'll pre-order. <laughs> no. Yeah. No way. Um, I feel like there was something else new ish to touch on. There, there's a I couple of I... uh of quick hits we can do, yeah, yeah, yeah. Go on Lagos if you want. Oh, yeah, the Superman, uh, Darius has that in. Um, which Superman, Mezco one, the Mezco, oh, yeah, one. all black, Recovery suit, yeah, all black, baby. Cover. He's suited and he's booted. I mean, he looked like he has some uh, some wild hips right there in that one shot. What's going on? Damn. He's <laughs> 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 like that. What the fuck? Dude. Dude, dude is built like when Eddie Murphy's Professor Clump. <laughs> oh, crazy. <laughs> yeah, well, look at his thighs, bro. What's going on? Hey, you know. Nah, maybe it's he just can't a hide that we got. Let's let, can we see one in hand? Uh I, before we do that, I want to talk about 
how immaculate his beard is, every single one of these head sculpts looked like they could be on like the side of a Rogaine box or something. Mm-hmm. Especially that, this the, one. <laughs> you know, he's got the, the Beijing right now. Like. <laughs> this is like um this is that guy at the grocery store that thinks he's the best looking person there. <laughs> <laughs> he actually oh, might be. Look at that fucking uh, lineup. Just yeah, that looks good. Those head sculpts look fucking great. They really do. They do look good. I've seen a lot of. I've seen a couple of people put them on uh, on McFarland bodies, and they look pretty good. Mm, nice. Okay, I could see that. Hell yeah. Uh, yeah, those okay. head sculpts look great. Yeah, so it's out there. The only thing I don't like is the emblem is just like so proportionally. It's so like proportionally, it's bigger. It's like huge. Yeah. It yeah, like it's huge, yeah. juts out. It's like if if I was re- if I was wearing it, it'd be like this thick. It'd be like three inches thick. It's crazy. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's uh, it's strange. But this looks. I think this looks great. It looks. It looks pretty. Yeah, good. I, I do too. It, it looks. It looks pretty good. And I think that the whole thigh illusion right there was just the way the yeah. uh, the material kind of looks. But yeah, yeah, and yeah, the, and, and the and packaging. I'm sure, I'm sure. I'm sure the packaging was like squishing him a bit, so it was like. Mm-hmm. Looking hourglassish, thicky, thicky boy. Very true. Yeah, that's dope. Um, what else? Was there any other Mezco news? I feel like I got. Oh, I, I think I said that on the last show. I got. I did get Shadow. Snake Eyes. Shadow. Uh, um, people have Shadow in. People have. Oh, the that's Turtles, true. Yeah, yeah. Ninja Turtles have been hot fire for like a month straight, basically, right now. So. Yeah. And you don't know how many people have asked me if I got it and if I could sell them my my set or whatever. Like, no, I didn't. I didn't order that at all. But yeah, Ninja Turtles have been hot fire. Shout out to uh, to him, Rock. I saw him recently, just like some hours ago, post some some pictures of those those turtles and stuff. A, a lot nice. of people have been posting really nice pictures of them. So yeah, people are, uh, people are really happy with the set. Honestly, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I see that. I was talking I to. Will, uh, I was talking to somebody in my server. Uh, shout out to, uh, I'll get your name in a second. But like, I was it talking was Ray. To Ray, yeah, shout out to Ray. Uh, in well, my server, boy Ray, what a guy! And like, he really enjoys it. I asked him if it was worth the price point. Um, you know, he said at the end of the day, he wish he he could pay less, but he doesn't feel bad mm-hmm. about paying four hundred bucks for it. Yeah, they they expensive. They definitely yeah. expensive. And like at the end of the day, it's just like it's just brand preservation. Like the price point, mm-hmm. like Mesco is not gonna. Is not going to sell a figure that they produce for less than their standard eighty dollars at all. Oh yeah, of course. Of so course. like the only options were selling four turtles for between three hundred twenty to three hundred and fifty dollars with like nothing, or just rounding it up to four hundred dollars and then just like kidding it out with a bunch of accessories and weird shit. Mm-hmm. So wasn't it like for twenty though, or it was less than uh, Fantastic Four? I think it was. I don't. I think it was four on the dot. And then after okay. after shipping, it was a little bit. A little yeah, bit. you got up there a little bit. I wish I wish we had the Mezco encyclopedia with us today, but he's That's busy true. partying. <laughs> yeah, shout out to him. Like I said, Fabio's birthday is tomorrow, so he's out in, enjoying himself as he should. Yeah, man. And um, yeah, send a send a a birthday super chat for uh, for Fabio. Hell yeah! It's his birthday. His birthday. Um, I think we we what we were gonna talk about Spiro as well. You got the super chat from Ebony Leopard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, yeah, let's take a take a quick look at that. Yeah, 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 absolutely. And then while while he's doing that, we have a super chat again That's from good. the Fat Man sixty nine food. I don't know why it's not dude. Sixty nine. Why buy those Street Shark figures when Fury Toys is doing an amazing looking third party version of Street Shark? Remember those? Yeah, see, that's what I'm talking mm-hmm. about. That's what I'm talking about. Um, is that like something like that? Is is what I'd want more. Those look really good. Um, do you know how much those are? Say Fat it again. Fat, I, was, I was asking if you knew how much those are. Oh, what's their Instagram so I could pull it up? Spiro Toys. Spiro or Fury? Spiro. Oh, we, oh, the the sharks. Yeah. Fury. They're Fury. Not to be confused with Fury. So Fury Toys. Is it? Probably. Probably. See it. No. <laughs> well, they're definitely a Chinese company, so. All right, what's the other one? Spiro. Spiro. Spiro tools. Let's go. Oh, you could just go. You could just go on. Fuck it. You could just go on 5K toys to see those uh, 
Oh, the street sharks. Yeah, but we could we could do these first since we're already here. Yeah, let's go. Let's talk about this real quick. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So yeah, they had this. Uh, Spiral Toys had a very successful wave one. Uh, they did extraordinarily well with the wave one. I had no clue that they were already gearing up for wave two, but yeah, here's a look at some of the hits from uh, wave one. A couple of army builders there on the left and right. The uh, main protagonist, I guess, there in the uh, in the middle. And some uh, <laughs> supporting characters there up around. So yeah. Um, I don't know. I feel like there was some other like Gorilla dude too, right? Wasn't it like a big like yeah. Gorilla guy? Yeah. Oh, yeah, no, this is, this is the new this is the new wave, right? No. Yeah, I just I just sent it to Poncho. I just sent it to Poncho in the chat. It's their new Kickstarter for series two. Is, is this not it that I have on screen? Yeah, I think this is it because we've never seen any of these. Yeah, it is. I was just giving you like the so we could see the breakdown or whatever. Oh, okay. oh I got you. I got They're you. fucking. Yeah, let me tell you something. Spirit Toys doesn't need our help or anybody. Yeah, they help. certainly don't. They're <laughs> fucking smashing. Really? They're killing it right now. They're they don't need nobody. This is crazy. Yeah, this is a Bergamo really custom crazy. like waiting to happen. <laughs> this is a Bergamot. Yeah, from Dragon Ball Super. <laughs> <laughs> it is literally him. It's crazy. This guy's built weird, but I respect it. Hey man, um, he's different. Yeah. He's built different. The kids <laughs> There it is. Dang, these all look great. All right, dude. here he is. There she is. I there guess that's is. their first female figure, right? Yes, I believe so. This guy looks okay. crazy too. Yeah, that looks cool. There it is. Another female. Hell yeah, dude. This one, this one goes hard. I love Rabbit this. Baby. Let's go. This is crazy. It's this and the iguana for me. This is on mm -hmm. or chameleon, equi I mean, chameleon, uh, chameleon, dude. Pardon me. And if those fucking, if those eyes articulate, like if they, they just gotta, go, they gotta. I, mean, <laughs> got them. I, I mean, wonder I mean, if they will have like some weird colorway options for the uh, for the chameleon, dude. You know what would be the I sickest shit ever if they if you say heat changing plastic, right? Yes, now, let's go. <laughs> if they do heat changing I'm plastic, <laughs> that'd be so sick. Here we go. You guys going back to the nineties? Yeah, back to the nineties. And with the <laughs> color changing plastic and shit. Let's go. What was your go to color changing plastic toy, Rick? Go. Um, trying to think, what would have been? It was um. Oh, you know what? I had I had this Power Ranger that would change from like being okay. white plastic to when you hold him in your hands, like that, like the fucking color of the suit would show up. Interesting. Mm -hmm. I had uh, the Batman animated series Arctic Batman that would oh, always Oh, I have that color. brand new seal, seal baby. In, <laughs> in my uh, storage unit. Hell yeah, dude. Incredible. Yeah, that would right. be crazy. Well, shout out to, uh, yeah. to Spiro Toys. Uh, here's to uh, hopefully another successful run at a, at a Kickstarter. You know, we always uh, love to uh, they, support the independent contractors out there, even if we don't actually support with our dollars. We support okay, with our what? words. That's true. <laughs> one one thing I wanted to say. One thing I wanted to say too. In this wave is interesting. You know that bunny guy? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's just that's like I don't know the purpose. It has to be purposeful. That's totally a play on a really shitty movie from the nineties. Oh shit! Called Warriors, Warriors shit. of Virtue. Let's go! Yeah. 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 Warriors of Virtue. Warriors of Virtue. Hell yeah! Yeah. So I want Warrior of Virtue over there. I want the Chameleon mm -hmm. and I want Bergamot. Let's yeah. like go! Song. Absolutely. So yeah, I don't, I don't see them having any any issue getting this off the ground and, and no. making this uh, making this work, man. They're already sixty thousand over their goal. Let's go. <laughs> with, Good for them. With thirty-seven days to go, this is fucking crazy, man. Hell yeah, I mean, man. this shit really puts things into perspective, man. The Transformers Kickstarter, this Kickstarter, like you know, certain things is just like some shit. Just it just go, it just yeah. goes, man, and it just it just takes off, man. Like the have people you, speak what they want. Ever... Handled any of these, bug? Pose them up? No, never, never. Oh well, I will say that 
another reason these things sell like sell like hotcakes is because they're genuinely great figures. Quality, yeah, quality. Yeah, they're right. they're insane. They're they're really really good. Like I would say, saying high evolutionary. Yeah, high evolutionary for sure. Oh, um, that's right. We did we did talk about that when they when they uh, put out the first wave that we mm -hmm. could you know use some of those for some background high evolutionary characters and stuff. Yeah, for sure. Uh, I have a uh, main guy right here, and then I have this little cat person back there. Uh, nice. Shout out to uh, everything looks like it's uh, nicely painted and yeah. penless, right? Yeah, it's fantastic. They move great. I, I, I'm telling you, it's the upper echelon of domestic, domestic figure, like articulation. It's very, very good. All right. It's very good. Um, anything else, real quick? We, uh, we get to the yeah. top of the album. We said uh, we'd go to 5K really quick and just look at the Fury Toy stuff. They're pretty ridiculous. Oh, yeah, yeah. We had them before, so it's not like we need to like uh, go in depth. You know what's funny? Uh, somebody in the comments was saying, who was it? I want to get the name right. I think it was Chris Miller. He was saying, weren't they kangaroos? I think they were, but they were. dude, pull up a picture of them. They look, yeah. like, fucking, they look like fucking rabbits. Like, Marsupials, right? Is yeah, that what it is? is? Yeah. They they look like fucking rabbits, even though they are supposed to be kangaroos. Like, mm -hmm. I mean, this is a, these fucking things look like rabbits. Basically, where were those street sharks? Like, really back, back there? All, all you type, all you type is no. Go to Five K Toys website. Oh, okay. And just type Fury Toys. Make it really easy. They're already up on pre order. We've seen them oh. before, but I guess, oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna go. <laughs> all right, search. Uh... Oh shit! Okay, I see him. Yeah, I, they're, they're they're easy to get hold of. I guess you could fudge it. I mean, oh, yeah. Oh right, okay. Yeah, I feel like All this the is yes, fudge. Come on, man. Nah, I think the appeal of street sharks was like their entire upper torso is their head. <laughs> like yeah. these, those yeah. shits are all head. So all this, head. This, 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 this is close. So all, so all head. This is close, but but yeah, that, I'm, that's what I'm leaning more towards. Like more more true, true to the to what the original like concept was. I see. But I see. like updated to modern. This is very close though. These are like gangster gangster fish men. Yeah, you know? I'm into it. I'm into it. They are sure. pretty jawsome. They yeah you you and uh, you and Vin Diesel would say so for sure. <laughs> yeah. We're in the golden age of fish, man, says Rick Jones. <laughs> he knows that Rick Jones. Incredible. Incredible. All right. Top of the hour. You want what do you say? You wanna... Um, we don't I just want to make sure we don't have any community highlights this week, right? Uh, I had a I had a bunch picked out, but if it's at the top of the hour, then uh then I don't know. What do you want to you guys you guys want to yeah, we'll, we'll we'll save them we'll save them for next week. There was okay. a lot of great, great shots yes. these past two weeks, but we could spend another two hours on that. So we'll Certainly. we'll save that for, for next week. Okay. Uh all right. Uh, um real quick, what are you guys uh anything you guys watching that you want to highlight? Oh yeah, I'm gonna watch Madam Webb. <laughs> Oh no! Hell yeah, me too. <laughs> um, oh, no, yeah, I'm gonna watch, gonna watch it. Madden. Yeah, immediately after this, <laughs> this wraps right. up. Um, definitely. Wait, wait, we're gonna is, watch, is, is it on? Uh, is it on Plex? Absolutely. On Plex, yeah. Oh wow! Okay, <laughs> there's right. no oh, other way. <laughs> I'm, I'm on whenever that comes out in five days. Five days. What um, does? X Men ninety seven. Oh yeah, yeah. I'm 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 definitely uh excited for that. Yeah, five days from now, X Men ninety seven. Um I don't I don't think anything else. I don't think I'm gonna I I don't think I'm gonna see anything else, you guys. Um no. I I started and finished Avatar, finally. Wait, Dude, what'd you, you think? Guys, uh... I thought it was okay. It's fine. I thought it was good. I thought it was really good. I think the guy who plays Zuko is he's, incredible. He's immaculate. And I think Dude, I think at some points, like I'm while I'm watching the show, I'm like, Jesus Christ, he sounds like Dante Bosco. Like his mm. voice sometimes yeah. sounds like him. And I don't know if that's purposeful, like if he tried to purposefully do that or not. But um, that was really good. Um, I think all the changes that it made made sense. 
Um, I really only had one issue with it, if I'm being honest. Um, but I thought I thought it was good. I thought it was pretty good. It it got uh, renewed for two and three, so we're yeah. gonna see the entirety of this series. This this beat out. I think it beat out One Piece. So, and I think I think things like that are gonna keep happening. I think second season of One Piece is gonna beat out this show, and then I think when season two of Avatar comes out, it's gonna beat out season two of One Piece. It's just gonna keep. I think. Yeah, it's good. I really. What about Dune? You guys I haven't watched that yet. Out? What about Dune? Okay. I, watched, I was just in it for I the popcorn Dune. bucket. Oh, you yeah? said what? <laughs> I said I was just in it for the popcorn it? bucket. Mm. <laughs> have you seen okay, the pic- Have you seen the picture on Twitter that went viral of the guy who wore- who has a shirt that reads "I'm just here to fuck the popcorn bucket"? <laughs> oh, um. yeah, don't, don't don't trust Brad and Kyle. They don't like that movie. They 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 suck, man. Don't trust these guys. 796 says that he has those sharks on pre-order. Shout out 796, who was promoting this weekend in Toronto, Toy Expo. <laughs> Wait around. Go if you're in Toronto. Shout out to 796. 796. Yeah. Shout out to Mario. What, a, what an amazing guy. Um, yeah, I thought Avatar was great. I thought it was really, really good. Yeah. I thought right. it, maybe, I thought maybe, it was maybe I'll check that out. Yeah. Have you seen the actual show book or no? Nope. Okay. You'll like it. That's it. Yeah, it's much it's, it's much more seriously toned. <laughs> It's much more seriously toned that series. So okay, I will say uh, yeah, like yeah. my favorite part about that show is how is the liberties they took when translating the like the wardrobe and the clothes. It is mm-hmm. it is so good. Like I think yeah, um, awesome department. the costume the costume design in that show is immaculate. It's very very good. It's nice. sick. Um, well, and that's on uh, what what's that on? It's on Netflix. It's Netflix. Netflix. I thought so. Yeah. Okay, all right. Um, yeah, that's it. Uh, in terms, of any uh, I beat Spider Man two finally. Oh, nice. <laughs> I, I started and beat and beat it. It was Did you it like was, it? It was okay. It was fine. It was just more Spider Man and more. It was more Spider Man and more Miles Morales. Hey, Spider Man two should be more Spider Man. That's true. That's absolutely true. Even spidery, even more spidery. They said mm-hmm. that's true. I will say the only issue I had with it was the pacing of the symbiote storyline was like really weird like it's supposed to be like a slow burn where like the symbiote affects peter's like mentality and like he just gets he just gets like gradually meaner and meaner and then he hits that breaking point where he's like i gotta take this shit off uh that Mm -hmm. does not happen in this game at all uh the meanest thing he does for four hours is ignore miles's phone calls and then in the in the span of 30 minutes (laughs) Uh, he goes full mask off and severs ties with Harry and MJ. <laughs> and I'm like, what is going on? <laughs> but, you know, aside aside from the pacing issues, the game is fine. It's fine. Mm. I'm I'm at the end game now where I can just go around and just do all the like the side Tricks missions and, and stuff. Swinging yeah. and all that. Absolutely. Good yeah. yeah. I was going to say, you know, that's why David said it. It didn't feel like it was just five minutes later for him because he did all the side quests while he that's was true. like playing the game. Uh, so I guess. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, David I guess if you don't want the story to post fast, better to do that. Maybe? Yeah, David and I have very different play styles. I I blitz through if it's like a story driven game, especially Spider Man games and first party Sony games, I'll blitz through the main story to absorb all of that, especially if it's an open world game, so I could just chill out for the rest of the game. Um, but that's it. That's it for me. Um, yeah, that's it. All right. <laughs> With that, uh, with that said, we're going to put a cap on this until next week when we back to uh, our uh, foursome. And, uh, and yeah, man, thanks to everybody for hanging out with us this evening. Thanks for all the Super Chats. Oh, speaking um, of Super Chats, one last one at the very end. Jason, S-, Jason S. hit us with 10. He said, happy birthday, Fabio. Buy yourself something nice. Hell yeah, dude. All oh, right. <laughs> get himself some sort of rock and roll related shirt <laughs> you guys that don't know have to stand up and show to everybody <laughs> on the <laughs> next episode they opened up for judas priest uh, <laughs> <laughs> all right so yeah with that said again thank you guys uh great night great episode and uh we will talk to you guys next week when we are all back in full effect thanks for hanging out don't forget to rate comment and subscribe hit that bell down there and until next time peace
All right. Goodbye. Don't let the door hit you on the way out. <laughs> What up, 2 one